Hey, this is John with Reliant Security, and if you missed my webinar the other day, that's okay, because I'm gonna do another little video on the Lockley Pro. This is the Secure Pro Edition. Deadbolt, it's awesome. World's most advanced smart lock. We're gonna dive into this. We're gonna say why it's the world's most advanced smart lock and what we can do to maybe make it even more advanced than it already is, which is gonna be awesome. This deadbolt fits a left or right hand uh, swing doors and has advanced fingerprint readings. So it's got a little fingerprint reader on the side. It has this really, really freaking cool uh, keypad here. So get up here a little closely. The keypad, you see there's three numbers in each one of these quadrants. Well, if, you're, if your uh, code is 0126, you hit 0126 and you're in. Now, who's to say, who, what numbers? Okay, well, each quadrant changes each time. You hit this little button here, the, the quadrants will change. So you can scramble your code as many times as you want. It doesn't matter if somebody is uh, watching you or not. This one's for home, office, or rental. Model number PGD728W. Got some other cool features. What's inside? Secure smart lock, bolt assembly, screws, strike plate, housing. They include a lot of really neat stuff in here. The instructions, the all, we're gonna go through all that, but this is really cool. The link, the uh, network link piece here. This is uh, to connect the lock over to Wi-Fi. It's just, it's just really awesome what we have here. Your fingerprint is your key. Uh, we're done talking about all the boxing. Let's cut this thing open. So I'm really impressed with how they put these things together. The, the box is hefty. I mean, you can drop this, throw it around. It's, it's going to be awesome. So we slide this off. Now your locksmiths. All right, well, do I really want to carry this thing? Probably not. We're going to get rid of that. Now look at this. Huh. I can write my part number on the side of the box here if I want to. Uh, all the information I need really is going to be right here. So you can stick your own sticker on this thing, stock it in the truck, and make it not look retail. So we open it up. Really pretty blue color. Lockley Promise. If we're not satisfied with Lockley, please contact them. That's pretty awesome. QR codes, these are cool. Um, if you're doing for quick assembly, oh, you don't want to read the instructions that come in the box? Download the app over here, the built app here. Here's a user manual piece. Welcome. We're going to start here, it says. Pretty, pretty nice instructions, really. It, this one's just a really quick how it goes through and for us technical people hey I can look at this and I can tell exactly how I need to put it together there is this uh, little uh, door position switch we're gonna look at that in a minute this is the only thing that really needs some in-depth explanation for us technical people here's the installation guide very detailed here's your drill template right it's pretty handy this is uh, you'll see here there's a stud that sticks here. We'll talk about that here too. Um, this is to help keep the lock more secure on the door so it, nobody can just come over and rip it to the side or pull it off easier. It, it actually adds security to the door. Drill template for that. Here's, if you're prepping this on a new door, you can throw this on there or use your jig or whatever you want. Here's the installation guide. Nice in-depth, hey, this is what everything is, how this is how everything goes. Here's your door position switch, how you're supposed to mount that. It does come with some foam pads. It's pretty stinking awesome. Again, left or right handing, right? It tells you how to run all the cables. There's just a lot of really good pieces in here. Now, these aren't the only instructions. Here's your user manual. Give it to your customer. Troubleshooting guide. Hey, if you're having problems, hey, here's their most commonly... Here's the most common things they have trouble with. All in a nice little piece of paper for you there, so you don't have you don't have to pull out your phone all the time. Here's a door hanger. This is freaking awesome. So I, I get done with my my deal. I tell the customer how it works and everything. We all know what's going to happen. They aren't they're going to say, hey, I really don't know how to work this thing still. Here's a little door hanger. QR code. Hey, you having problems? Yeah, you can call me or you can scan this code and figure it out yourself. So it gives the customer some really good information. Here's what I was talking about with the quadrants. Right, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it, it scrambles it. You can actually set it to where each time you hit one of these numbers, it, it'll scramble it. We'll see that here in a little bit too. 
make sure you keep this card. This is probably the most important card. This is how you're gonna register the lock to the phone app. So if, when you come in and set this thing up over Bluetooth on your phone, yes, you're gonna have to set this up over Bluetooth before you can operate the lock properly. It's pretty awesome, unlock and lock from the Bluetooth. Got this little silicate pack, that's cool. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes here, right? Uh, we're gonna open that up here, I guess now. Just so excited about this lock. I have opened up a couple other ones of these. They're, they're, they're stinking awesome. All right, this is heavy. I mean, it is a heavy, heavy lock. We have our little cover here. This is actually pretty slick. If you do have to use the key override, this is a Schlage SC4 key. So it is a six pin lock. Here's some instructions too. Like I was telling, uh, alluded to it a minute ago. This, those other instructions aren't the only ones. You have these little stickers in here all over the place. Hey, this needs to be in this position before we proceed, uh, you know, before you do this other step over here. Cable, it's got some nice armor on the cable. It's plastic, it's not metal. Um, I wouldn't expect metal on this, but it's it's nice, it's, it's robust. We've got that stick over there. We've got this little sleeve here, right? But here's, here's our locking core. Ah, oh, it's a key and knob cylinder. What can we do with that? Well, you can throw Schlage Primus. You can throw Medico. You can throw whatever keyway you want in here. Um, there are not any spool pins in these that we've come across. So, you know, that's a bit of a downer, but we can always add those in. We can always upgrade this thing from what it is now. So the fact that it's not a high security lock, I mean, it's this is uh, this is more for residential grade. So, uh, you know, in a, in a high security application, we could potentially use this, but this is more of their uh, residential grade system. They have another uh, product for those higher end, higher use commercial applications. I'm gonna slide this back in its packaging back over here. All right, let's talk about the backside of the lock for a second. So this actually comes in two pieces. This nice metal plate. If you guys have ever installed like a Yale Touch Sense, something like that, um, you'll you'll see this is this is a separate plate. Here's your third screw hole. Now we got to pull that other thing back out because I can show you that. But there's these little stickers, right? If you've ever put the Yale ones in, hey, you got to hold. You got to get this on the door. You got to slide the other thing. Now you got to hold both of these things together while you try to get the screws lined up. Just pull that piece of tape off of there. Pull it off over here. You're done. You just stick it onto the door. Now it's going to stay on the door while you go get your screws out of the screw packs, right? So we're all gonna have our screws hanging out there at, our, at each step, but yeah, just gonna stick this on the door and off it goes, right? It's pretty slick. Okay, this is, you know, this is actually kind of the standard, really. Uh, if you guys do encodes and stuff, they're all about this size. The, the brains of the operation in the back here, they're all about this size here. Here's your cover. Hey, look, more instructions. Hey. What are you gonna do? Open door, closed door. It, it just gives you a couple really neat little little tips and tricks inside here. Here's another set of instructions. You leave these on. These are the programming instructions. More instructions. Before installing the last battery, press and hold this button. You know, I was doing a webinar the other day and, and presenting this and I still forgot to push that even after reading that, right? Got excited. This is a, a neat little thing. Um, some of the locks I work on, I've got to I've got to take a screwdriver, right? I got to pry that battery out of there. And I just lay this in here, stick all the batteries in. When I need to change out the batteries, just pop that right on out of there. Look, more instructions. It's locked when it's up and down, right? So, um, it's it's awesome. Here's how to route this door position switch. I'm going to route it over here, or over here. How's that piece going to work out, right? It's going to stick out right down over here. That's how it's going to work. It's going to stick like that on this side or on the other side. If it's uh, and there's this little breakaway tab, so if your if your door edge is a little closer, right? It's got those two back sets. Your two and three quarter, two and three eighths, right? Boom! You can stick this little tab on there. All right, and it does show on here root sensor. Uh, trim this after installation. Remove, you know, peel and remove this thing off. It's just showing you how to route the. Uh, cable from over here. It's just showing you how to route that cable. Again, lots of instructions, lots of instructions, lots of little pieces that are just like, it just helps the installation go faster, helps it, uh, 
helps it go on a little bit further. So if you if you sell one of these in your shop, hey, here, Mr. Customer, here's all the stuff. Boom, you're done. And if they call asking for uh, to, to troubleshooting stuff, hey, you can help them over the phone. But ultimately, uh, all these little pieces of instructions really just help kind of pull that down. Energizer Max batteries. How often are we getting like mixed batteries and stuff, or some weird, uh, you know, not not normal in the store batteries. Now I don't have to say, hey, yeah, with this this battery with a different language written all over it, um, you're gonna replace those with Energizer Max or or Duracell Ultras or something. Look, the, the customer is just gonna say Energizer Max. You just tell them, replace it with the same batteries that are in the unit. They're gonna go to the store, they're gonna pick these up, they're gonna go from there. We have a set of keys for our key override. Again, these are Schlage SC4s, right? So six pin lock six pin now if you're keying it to a standard house yeah they're probably going to have five pin that's fine you're going to drop one of the chambers anyway and rekey it right so not a big deal here's our screw pack now the the coolest thing about this screw pack is this right here you get an extra one of these double-sided sticky tape things and it's labeled spare parts they have one of every single screw that they use in this screw pack one of each of those is in here how often are we getting extra screws with our installation not very often are we going to lose some of these screws absolutely we are this stud right here is another cool little thing so this stud screws into the back here I remember that third hole I was telling you. Well, now I've got one, two, three points of uh, security on the door, right? So this deadbolt, once it goes on, you're not going to be able to twist this thing. That, that, bar, that bar right here is going to stop you, right? So again, really well thought out product in my opinion. Packaging, again, I mean, it's almost like you're buying a cell phone. How often are we opening up other products and it's just, yeah, we toss this in this piece of uh, cardboard and here you go. It's wrapped in a little bit of uh, maybe some bubble wrap at best. Okay, here's our deadbolt. Here's our deadbolt installation kit. You get your screws, you get your plate, you get a little box that maybe goes in there. Here's your deadbolt. Look, even the deadbolt comes with instructions. Hey, after you install this thing, turn it with a screwdriver, extend the deadbolt out. Why? Well, because when you put this guy on, the le this uh, notch here is vertical. It's not horizontal. Now, I suppose you could put this thing on like so and slide it on there and then switch it over to lock position. But that's not how they want you to do it because when you put that last battery in and you're holding down the programming button, it's going to automatically hand itself. Okay, so there's our installation kit for the deadbolt. Uh, you notice there are no long screws in here. Make sure you have four inch screws on your truck which we all should. And at the at the price we're getting these things, there's no reason we can't afford some extra, you know, four inch long screws. This is a cool little pack here. This is gonna give you, uh, this is the Wi-Fi adapter. You have a magnet sitting in here. Okay, let's see, magnet. And then we have the, uh, this is telling you, right, door and sensor EVA. Hmm, that's exciting. It's got some foam pads in here, okay? These foam pads are used to uh, pull either this little sensor, right, our little sensor guy over here, we can stack these out uh, away from the door a little bit. Maybe the door recesses into the frame a little bit. The only way you're gonna be able to hook this thing on is maybe if this thing is beefed out a little bit. So instead of mounting it flush, maybe it's gotta be out here a bit. Now you have some of these foam pieces. I just, I'd keep a hold of these. At the end of the installation, you don't use them. Fine, that's fine. Um, you can install this without the door position switch. Uh, it just won't tell you whether or not the door is open or closed. Um, you'll, there, you're, and it's a nice little bit of information, but if you're gonna disable this, um, these instructions, uh, right here. You can remove the door uh, sensor, if you like, by gently pulling its connector from here. And it's tied around there, which is pretty handy because it's not going to flop around, right? Again, a lot of thought went into this. So you're going to loosen that piece up. You're going to gently tug that little connector out. You don't want to rip on it. You're going to gently pull it. It does say gently in here, gently pulling its connector, right? So there's all that neat stuff. And then we come down to our little dongle here. They were so nice. They put in this little power supply, right? Apple... Um, so it almost looks like the little Apple Cube, but it's just a really small little power supply. You see it says Lockley on here. So again, these are made specifically for the Lockley product. It is a five volt, one amp output power supply. You know, and I was looking, I was like, man, I could probably plug this in a computer and uh, it would probably power it. It's probably true. You could probably plug it into a computer. 
but this is gonna go. Now you have to install this within 10 feet of the door. Look, read the instructions. Everything's gonna make sense when you read through all of those booklets and instructions, or you go online and take a look at it, right? That's it, that's all there is to this thing. Super easy installation. I installed one of these on the door, honestly, without reading the instructions. It took me 15 minutes about as long as this video has been so far. I was able to pull this thing out, didn't even look at the instructions. I wanted to see how hard is it for me to put this thing in. I'm an experienced installer in one of these things. How hard is it to put this together? It's not difficult. If you're on the fence about installing electronic locks, don't be. This is probably one of the best products I've come across with the instructions and and just everything. And where are we gonna get other, other electronic locks right now that are Wi-Fi enabled with a ship, uh, chip shortage, right? Who's, who's shipping these? These guys are. So right now, this is, the, again, this, this has just been put together so well. I'm, I'm super excited about this product. I hope this uh, helps you guys so far. Uh, next portion here, I've got one mounted up. We're gonna take a look at it. All right, so here's the lock. I mounted up on this, on this uh, really nice display board that Lockley sent over. Again, thanks to Lockley. They were very supportive with this product. I was kinda, I had to get this product. Right now, we're in this, weird spot where chips are hard to get a hold of wi-fi enabled deadbolts are just I, I just i can't get them anywhere i cannot get 36 of these things anywhere Lockley was able to pull through again here's our here's our neat little cover this one just kind of slides in place there's these little notches here it holds it in place so hey look i don't have to hold this up i'll fiddle in with my key right so we're gonna grab our keys here here is the mechanical override Okay, I can lock and unlock this thing with a mechanical key. Something that I didn't mention before, if we look at the bottom down here, hey, oh, the batteries died while I was gone, or my Airbnb customer is like, oh, I'm locked out because the batteries in here died. Yeah, you just hook a little battery up there, done deal, okay? So, what's so cool about this lock? What makes this the most advanced smart lock? Well, I have this thing set up right now for random, random number generation. All right, now the code for this is one through six. Touch the keypad, it lights up. Okay, now if the lock is unlocked, we're gonna let the keypad go out here. We're just gonna lock it, I guess. All right, if it's unlocked, you touch the keypad, boom, locks. Touch it again, the screen lights up. Now I have it in scramble mode is what I'm calling it. It just, it's a random, it randomly moves these numbers around. You see it, each one of these numbers in the quadrant. Let's one through six. Okay, number one, what happened? The numbers moved. Okay, now I hit my two. I find three, four, five's down over here. I have a six up here. Hit that number six. Now I push this little guy here, it unlocks. Is someone gonna know my code? No. Every single time that I come up to this lock and hit the keypad, it's a different num each, each three numbers are in a different quadrant. And you'll notice there is gonna be a duplicate number, the seven's duplicate over here. If I hit this thing again, randomly generates more, more uh, numbers in the, in the quadrants. In not scramble mode, in the non-scrambled mode, it will keep the numbers. Uh, the only difference is when you tap these, the quadrants stay in, the, in, their, in their section there. So I'm gonna demonstrate that here too. All right, so I've gone ahead and turned off random mode, right? I touch the keypad, one through six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I could have hit four up here, right? But we're just demo. This is what it is. Boom, it's unlocked. All right, fingerprint reader. This is probably the most easy fingerprint reader to program. Your customer can do it straight from their phone, the Lockley app, okay? I'm gonna come up here, touch it. Look at that. I registered, I just used the standard registration. My hand is a little bit dirty from you know, doing actual work today. So wash my hands real quick. When you do register your fingerprint, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your hands are clean and dry and register the fingerprint. It can go into deep learning. Say, you don't have a very good, strong, pronounced fingerprint. That's okay, you just register and it's gonna go through and it's gonna register it a couple times just to make sure it understands your fingerprint the best. You can add in whatever fingerprint you want. I've got the single fingerprint here. That's cool, right? You can get your first finger, whatever finger you want to throw in here. If you want to try to get your thumb in there, that's fine too. Come close to it, touch it. It's going to light up the finger pad and you're, and you're good to go. We've got our 
uh, our dongle set up over here. It's connected over its uh, wireless connection to the lock. And then this piece connects out to the internet. It's good to go. So if you want more information about this Lockley, or I'm sure you guys are wondering, hey, where do I buy this thing from? Talk to me. I will tell you who to get this lock from. I'll show you uh, all of that stuff. Just send me an email. Give me a phone call. Give me, shoot me a quick text. We'll get you connected with somebody in sales. Uh, this, is, this is definitely one of those things. You're not going to be able to buy this anymore directly from Lockley. And uh, they're, especially their Pro Series, their actual Pro Series that is meant for commercial buildings. So we've seen some of that narrow style uh, storefront door stuff online through the LockleyPro.com. Hey, all that stuff is going through distribution. Get with me. I will get you in contact with somebody over at Lockley through my distributor. We'll get you hooked up. It's not a problem.